Brennan Porcia, topvelocity.net. Going to do a power clean analysis here of uh, Brennan. Going to pair him up with Matty Rogers and a, a full clean. So looking at the start position, I want to make sure I'm not too much too much of my body over the bar. So uh, I think not too bad. I think you're in a good posture. You got the shin, uh, the bar into your shins. Uh, you, you've got your trunk upright. Looks like you got some good tension in your arms with your chest uh, or loading um, into your posterior chain. Let's take you out of your lift up to knee height. Okay. Let's take her up to knee height. Okay. So you can see at this position here, you've got now a lot more of a lean, mainly because you're trying to extend your legs coming out of your lift. You don't want to extend your legs. You want to hold flexion in your legs with your femurs externally rotated, and you want to keep your posture where you were in your start position. You were you're leaning forward, extending your legs, and now you're, the bar is away from your legs. So it's going to be hard for you now to transition under the bar because you have so much farther to bring your trunk back. Uh, and your legs are extended, you're going to have to actually bend them back down again to get under the bar, which is probably not going to happen. So you can see here with Maddie, she, as she gets above the knees, she shifts the thighs under the bar. We can see as you get up right here, as you get above the knees, you're pulling your arms and you're jumping. You can see you're already trying to triple extend. So big difference here. She's still loaded, what they call a double knee bend. Her arms are not pulling, okay, so her arms are staying uh, strong and not trying to pull on the bar. You can see you've got bend. Uh, you're up on your heels. You're already extending and jumping because uh, you pulled early. You you went quick into extension. You started pulling the bar up uh, to overcompensate for the, the fact that you were unable to get your thighs under the bar to drive force under the bar. So this is really... You really got to work on this transition right when you get above the knees, keeping flexion, shifting thighs under the bar because you're just trying to, once you get to the knees, is you're trying to curl the bar, pull the bar up, row the bar up, well, which is a big upper body approach, and we, we don't want to do that. So you can see, you're, even up to here, your elbow's pretty high. You can see with her at that point, she's continuing to drive the hips under the bar. So you, you shut your legs off at this point and you're pulling with your arms. Her arms are still not engaged or still not uh, even flexed at this point, And she's continuing to drive force under the bar. Okay, then she uh, pulls through, pulls under, and racks the bar. You can see at that point for you, you're going into your rack position. Um, I'd say the only you know things you can do better in your rack position is make sure you don't just push your knees forward keep your hips flexing back to not put all the stress in the front of your knees get your elbows up high to create a good shelf in your upper rack position so really need to work on that transition uh, that we were talking about with her and how well she is able to shift under the bar before she drives